Hi. I don't feel good. But here's the deal. It's like, um, are you guys sick of hearing me saying that? Because I'm like totally sick of hearing me saying that. Like I say it in my head. Well, I'm home a lot. I'm home a lot by myself. Sometimes I talk to myself. I mean, I talk to myself a lot. So here's the deal. This is my story. So those of you out there who are like, wait a minute, she's had like five surgeries. Why is she complaining that she don't feel good? I don't know why I'm talking like this. You have to understand every single surgery that Dr. Duchek has performed has been successful. I just have a little song, song going on like over here and I'm going in like for my three month follow up from my fifth surgery so I can possibly talk about a sixth surgery just in another area. It's just I'm having a bad day, like a bad day. It's so bad and it's like, you know what? You have those. You have like days where you're just like things just they like spike up so bad like on a scale of 1 to 10, no, we're not going there. Um, but you can see because, like, the bat, like, hello, the puppiness in my eye. It's like, shut your pie hole. Ooh, pie. Ooh. Hold on a second. I just had a thought. Shh. Once again, we're going to be sneaky. So down in the basement, in the garage... We have an extra fridge. All right, hold on, because this is heavy, and I cannot, oh, hold on a second, cannot be lifting stuff up in here. Oh, I'm sorry. It's freezing. I'm cold. We're going to have a close up around towards. I don't know if any of you know, but we have something here in Maryland. It's called Costco. And look what I have. <laughs> Hold on, ready? They're cream puffs. Do you guys want to see? These are like so good. Um, even though I don't feel good. Do you, are you ready to see how big they are? Mm hmm. <sighs> They're my fave. And because I don't feel good, we're going to open them. You know what? I already brushed my teeth. It's like almost, it's like, it's almost 8 o'clock. Like, I should be in bed. I'm so tired. Open. Look, it says open. But see, these have to like, really? <laughs> I'm gonna about, I'm gonna, I'm not happy. Because I need to talk to you guys about something. But I want to do it. Oh, it has an arrow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Shh. I don't know why I'm shh. shh. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Okay. 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 Got it. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Did you hear the air come out of it? That ain't right. You know, you need like an engineering degree. Okay, I'm not supposed to be straight. Oh, oh my god, it's coming. Success. That was loud. Look. Alright, so I'm going to take one out. We are, we're going to see how long it takes to thaw because they're frozen. And I'm going to talk to you about something. Alright, so in my last surgery, the doctor like cut right here and he's really good like I mean I have like 10 incisions two, well two or because he like went in through my eyes so I really have like eight like throughout my hair that you can't see because he literally like parts your hair and you can't even tell well I you know you end up losing like a clump of hair but I'm, I've been very fortunate because I have like very thick hair because I'm Italian even though you can't tell whatever who cares but this last surgery, like, he went in here, 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 and here. So, 
but this one party had to go in. It was like a really big area. So I have a bald spot, which do I care? No, I don't. But I'll like just randomly throw my hair in a ponytail throughout the day. And my daughter, the four year old will be like, you have a spot. And I'm like, okay, so like, I won't even realize that the total bald spot will be showing. So the other day we were like down here in the basement and I like, cause I'll like have my like ponytail around my wrist and my hair will be down and I'll like throw my hair into ponytail, but I'll like, I'm more conscious about the way I put my hair into ponytail around her cause four year olds are very honest. So I was like, kind of like evening it out and she's like, she looks over and she's like, mommy, is your spot showing? And I was like, I don't know, Ella, can you see it? And she's like, no, you're good. <laughs> it's like, snap. I'm going to have some problems with her. Mm, it's still frozen. We got to wait. You guys are not getting off this video with me until... This is unfrozen. I don't know, but have you guys had these? So, back in the day, I would buy these. And so, I would put, like, a few out on the plate, like, after dinner while I was cleaning the kitchen. And I would be like... Ooh, by the time, like, I'm cleaning the kitchen and I'm ready for dessert, like, we can all have some, but I would always find that by the time I was done cleaning the kitchen, the plate of cream puffs were gone because I had eaten them all in between, like, cleanup because they thaw out pretty fast because I usually keep my house really warm because I'm always freezing. Anyways, I was like telling the family tonight at dinner that I bought cream puffs and they were like, I was like, yeah, they're in the freezer. Jill went to Costco, we got cream puffs and they're like, they were acting like nobody likes them. Like, it's still frozen. So, ooh. You guys are probably like, ew, is she going to eat that? Shut your pie hole. Shut your cream puff. I am. I don't care if you guys are sick of hearing about it. It hurts. It does. And I got to get through the holidays. You know what? I got to pretend like I like the holidays because I got kids. Who likes the holidays? I really don't. Like, oh, it's like sticky. How come I don't like the holidays? I mean, when I was a kid, I remember I loved the holidays. I guess now because it's like, it's so commercialized. It's so, I don't know. It's still frozen. They're so like, I don't know. Everybody, somebody sucked the fun out of them. I got the stockings up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.